All right, well, we could see a pretty big day uh, coming up for your mortgage, so you're going to want to pay attention to what's happening this morning. Let's get over to Mike Apple at 680 with details on that. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Melanie. Yeah, indeed, we're going to get signals on the health of the economy this morning. The uh, August growth rate uh, for the Canadian economy, if it's really, really good, then we're going to be talking about maybe the Bank of Canada raising mortgage or interest rates again one more time this year. If the markets uh, or see a mediocre number on economic growth, yeah, we could relax a little bit for interest rates climbing between now and 2018. We'll get the GDP report a little later on for August. Remember the first half of the year? Stellar for the Canadian economy. Best in the G7. Bank of Canada raising interest rates twice. Recently they've been saying slow down just a little bit. Let's wait and see what the numbers actually show. Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polaz also talks today to the House of Commons Finance Committee in Ottawa. And we have the Canadian dollar reflecting the market uncertainty starting the trading session at a three-month low. It's below 78 cents U.S. Compare and contrast, the Toronto stock market's been on a bit of a roll recently. In fact, yesterday it closed at its highest level ever, above the 16,000 mark for the first time, with a gain of 49 points. And it wasn't bank stocks and it wasn't gold stocks leading the way. No, it was new economy companies such as Canopy Growth, the medical marijuana producer, up 19% after Constellation Brands, a wine and spirits and beer company, bought a 10% equity stake in Canopy Growth and sent the shares skyrocketing to a record of almost 20%. All those medical marijuana producers have been very big performers so far this year. Uh, what a month it's been for Wall Street, a month that has traditionally seen some of the biggest sell-offs ever. Different story this year. The Dow Jones comes in close to a record. It's up more than 4% for October. The NASDAQ hit a record yesterday. We've seen tech names, Microsoft, Intel, Apple, you name it, they've all been up so far this month. Apple yesterday hit a record high ahead of its earnings, which are due later this week. And they could be changing uh, some supply components out of Qualcomm. Those companies have been in some legal uh, battles. Qualcomm stock is down 5.5% in pre-market trading action so far this morning. And now that it is Halloween Day, the retail sector is ready for a transition over to, yes, Christmas. A lot of the retail brands have been moving out all their Halloween uh, items maybe with the exception of Party City, but uh, the retail level will be gearing up for Christmas big time. It'll be interesting to see how much they start advertising. There's been some talk about Christmas creep and maybe slowing that down just a little bit, but this is the most important sales time of the year. Send it over to Kevin. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you, Mike. You're welcome.